Okay, man, we're on another part, man. I think this is part five. Um, I, I skipped a little part um, with Miles talking with um, uh, Uncle Aaron. But it wasn't anything serious. It was just like showing the little uh, side missions you can do. So this is like a main story missions I'm about to do. So I just want to get the full game off for you guys. Everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down. Yo, that's the thingy. If you're free, they could really use your web. That's homie from Jedi Survivor. While they work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shut the hell up. Emily May Foundation. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. Emily's tree. It was perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? The far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. Right, Ben. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? I wonder if um Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. Norman is the you got things is the set green up and still undergoing game? treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Man, how, how many heroes I heard my salary and research in projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing his super cool man, research on bees. Just... Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Amazing. And I know it sounds like I'm glazing the game, but it's just like, it's just facts. The game has been phenomenal so far. It's only been a couple hours in, too. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? I guess. You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. Those are some fat-ass bees, bro. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. And that Wanna is... Wanna see how? Sure. On a PlayStation remote. Well, remember this is cool. Is These little drones are essentially Fire. being bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. What? And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better Ooh. you are at shooting them, the better our drones are at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Why not just kill them like I'm doing? Oh, this dude 
This reminds me of that. What game was session. that, bro? You got great data. Okay, flying home. Oh, what game was that, bro? If y'all know what I'm talking about, it's a game that looks exactly like if that. If those virtual B wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. What? I'd love to help that? any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we Please. dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Is he like gonna start ignoring? Mm, I'm, I'm looking in too deep. Never mind. I was gonna say something, but I don't think so. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance we can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Bro, that's that's. Hey, doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, that's Dr. Connors. Exactly. We've actually met. Homie, about to be I the lizard. Dr. Octavius. You came what to happens in this to in this game? Stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. believes in second chances hey listen i gotta go make a call but uh feel free to explore he knows he's the upstairs lizard. when you're ready did i miss something from the last game no way oh, now so they're that making us explore but it seems to be working for everyone to have dr connor's here i guess i'll look around inspect nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. I'm. Is that what did, was that like in the DLC or something? Can't reproduce the results from the sample. Uh, I'd say we're dead in the wrong. What is this? The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Simple answer. God, bro. What am I exploring? I already been here to the bee section. We are accepting donations for the food drive. Feed the fish. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Well, I haven't been to the zoo in decades. variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals, separated by cytoplasm. Attention. We're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. So I've been there. Do I have to go upstairs? I'm probably gonna go upstairs. Yeah, watch out. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. What hey, the hell is this? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but. I'll have backup in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. Wasn't Homeboy just limping? So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. 
middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Oh, Sorry, a, kids. Just my two shirt or something? You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rigor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Yes, I knew exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that of was course. so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots. How big is this damn place? It's a dome, man. It's like that dome in Las Vegas. We got a brother that's a doctor. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, oh, Peter, I presume. They made this dude Harry look like Caesar. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural Yo. efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. I the idea like is, like is to tweak a plant's message. genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal Our is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Sense. Okay. Excuse me. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, which one is Bro, am I stupid? Okay, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. That was not that. I made that way more hard than it needs to be. Way more complicated. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations <sighs> patent GMO seeds for profit. It's and already like criticized. Uh, but ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. He fits with there. I need one that got three on the bottom, which is you. And then homie got three right here. Feel me? Second try. Next. Reset this piece. We can put this one there. This one there. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful work, Peter. Thank you. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Using this technology, we're going to Harvard to end world hunger by 2035. Rather do YouTube instead. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh. Very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. I'm trying to butter him Might up, be man. my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember. The things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. Don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. You'll need it to get in. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice, 
telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. Would you join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and Nate proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Call me out later, yeah? You bet. 